Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I'm back down in Triton's headquarters in Yeovil in Somerset to look at yet another one of their uh, new products and this time it's the 20 volt impact driver. So impact drivers, they seem to be the future. When you're out on site, you just hear them everywhere. They drive you nuts with that clacker clack going all the time, but there you go. That's the future, that's progress. And Triton have got their 20 volt model out. And to tell us about it, we've got Steve Hewson, who is the product manager for Triton. He's in charge of all this stuff, so he knows his way around it, hopefully. Is that right? Yeah, so Roger, this is one of three products that we've bought out in the 20 volt range. Yeah. Um, we have a combi hammer, uh, we have a drill driver, and then the impact driver, very much targeted at the trade buyer, um, where you're putting in fastenings all day. For sure. I mean, I've seen you know a great many of them now, tested quite a number, um, and they definitely punch above their weight. If you look at something like a drill, if we look at your 20 volt drill, for example, and we look at the torque on that, and then we compare it with this, which is appreciably smaller and lighter how is it that we managed to get all that torque out of an impact driver because it's way above what you get out of a drill isn't it yeah so the torque is based around the hammer uh, mechanism that you have with an impact driver so unlike a percussion drill where the percussive force is uh, down the length of the uh, drill bit with an impact driver the percussive force is around yeah. uh, in the direction of rotation so what happens here within the uh, drill is you have a sprung weight. As the uh, drill bit comes under tension, this spring uh, uh, retracts to a certain point where it then slips and a weight slips around the uh, direction of the drill bit and that weight has a hammer on it and mm. that's what forces the uh, impact uh, in the rotation mode. Yeah, so that hammer is hitting on what, a lot of little pulls it, all the hitting, way around? hitting on two uh, large teeth on the other side of the of the shaft and it's yeah. those that are spun around. Now what we did with this impact driver we wanted to keep the size and the weight down but we yeah. wanted to increase the torque. Hmm. Now one of the things that we found with the research and all this is uh, the research and development for this takes place in our uh, facility in York in the okay. UK. Right. One of the things that we found is that actually increasing the size of the hammer actually doesn't make it hit any harder. What we've got is a lighter weight, lower profile hammer that spins faster and it's oh, the okay. speed of the rotation and yeah. that hammer that gives you the greater impact force. Right, so, so that's like kinetic force, isn't it really? It's, it's a bit like the karate guy chopping through the block of wood. It's that speed at which he does it rather it's, than the force. Yeah, the speed of the, uh, the, the, that hammer slip is much more important than actually the size of the, the, the block. So yeah. it's a lower uh, size block, it's a lighter weight block, but it's very, very quick. Yeah. And that gives you 160 newton meters of Blimey, torque. Really, that's that is way up. That's up there with the, the top performance in the um, impact drivers. Then, really, isn't it? Absolutely, 160 newton meters of torque and 9,000 impacts a minute. So yeah. this thing will really drive, you know, a, a, a large bolt or a large fastening, mm. no problem at all. That surprised me. I thought you were going to say somewhere around 110 we were going to get out of that. It's 160. Well, yeah. I think we've got to see it go for that, haven't we? It's got a four amp power lithium ion battery in it. Now how yes. many did we get in the kit with those? So you get two of these 4 amp uh, batteries, they're both made with uh, Samsung cells, so you've got quality Samsung cells, uh, Mabuchi motors and steel gearing uh, yeah. in this system. So if we're running the other 20 volt, I should say slipping into thinking of it as 18 volt yeah. but you're saying this 20 volt so if we run any other we can swap the batteries around yeah, between all the, the other three power tools you've got in the range and obviously i suppose you'll be introducing more yeah we have a whole program volt. coming behind the drills uh, the drills are normally the, the the lead product and then a whole bunch of other right. uh, so once we tools. so once we buy into this system we can add to it change the batteries use one charger which a lot of people like just Absolutely. taking one one charger out on site and uh, running the batteries up yeah so nothing else i need to know about this i can just crack away use this bit yeah, of timber yeah, this is um it's a lime bit of lime It 
actual fact, what I was doing there, stupidly, if you like, well, I've actually screwed that to the workbench, which is a good idea, wasn't it? But stupidly, what I was doing there was pushing it. There's not really no, no need. need to do, is there? No. See, old habits die hard. I was thinking of that more as a, a like the percussion drill. So let's just do that again. Hot, always hot. Let's get it started. Right, so once it's started, one-handed. And of course the other thing is that if that was 160 Newton meters in a, a in a drill, you wouldn't be able to hold it no. steady. You would you'd be struggling no, with a big it's side hand. Force is exerted with each, each yeah, impact. Just knocking it round, yeah. tap, tap, tap all the way round, like as if you were tapping a spanner Absolutely. around the hole. Yeah. The only thing is, they have kind of spoilt the piece <laughs> on a building site. Yeah, oh now, yeah. Yeah, they're not quite tall. Yeah, we should um, probably have a little bit of ear protection there. But yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, that, that really now is going to be an easy job. I would just say one, one thing that you've got to be careful of is if you're using an impact driver, you must use impact driver impact bits, bits because absolutely. they just last for two seconds if you use a, yeah. an ordinary one. So is that something that you're involved in or not? Do you make those or? Uh, Trine has a, a PTA program, a program coming and, and the yeah. impact bits will be part of that. Yeah. So at the moment, because it's new development for you, you're gonna be sending them elsewhere for yeah, the impact absolutely. bits, but hopefully you will in the future do it. Well, I can't fault that really, quite honestly. I mean, I've used an awful lot of impact drivers. Hand on heart, I wouldn't say it was any better than many of the others I've used, except that 160 Newton meters does put it up there at the, the top end, but it certainly feels every bit as good as many others that I've used. It's nicely balanced, lightweight. It's got four amp hour lithium ion battery. What's not to like, really? I think it's, uh, it's gonna do well for you. So I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching and don't forget you can subscribe, you can also follow us on Twitter and Google Plus and we'll be showing you an awful lot more drills and other power tools in the future and a lot more from Triton too.